Hey angels, it's Golden Chastity. I'm back again with another video. I know I have not been on YouTube lately. It's because God didn't want me to be on YouTube. <clears throat> okay, and I'm only going to follow what God is telling me. So if God doesn't want me to be on YouTube, I'm not going to be on YouTube. If God wants me to be back on YouTube, then... I'm going to be back on YouTube like I am today. I am feeling in my spirit that I need to be on YouTube and tell y'all what the things that I've been working on and what I've been healing. I know it's going to my story is going to resonate like with you guys, like some similarities, okay? It's going to resonate with you. So, what I've been doing is I just been like praying a lot really really spending time with my god okay it's so important to spend time with the lord that's when you gain a closer connection with god really really tightly so that's what i've been doing i've been praying a lot i've been meditating a lot and i've been reading my bible i've been watching stories about jesus how jesus like healed a lot of people make so many miracles okay it was so amazing god wants me to pay attention to the bible watching the stories about jesus how he did so many miracles who a lot of people god want me to watch it because um i am about to receive a miracle next okay that's what god is basically saying like you are about to receive a miracle next chastity you see yourself in a struggle. You've been suffering for a long time. You guys see my struggle. And you guys still see my struggle. I'm still suffering. But in this hour, God is taking care of me in the struggle. He's still providing for me. I'm still eating. I'm still showering. You know, I still get to just look decent on the camera have my hair comb you know when you with the lord god is going to take care of you even if you are in the struggle whatever bad situation you're going through if you have <clears throat> excuse me if you have god right there with you god is going to take care of you while you in the struggle even if you are at your last dollar god is going to provide for you. Let me tell you something. There's times where I was at my last dollar in my bank account. Okay. And I've prayed and I've prayed. And God provided me with financial. Okay. And it's enough for me to afford my room where I'm at right now that's a miracle like god has been providing for me and i'm very thankful for that you know like god is here like you guys have to believe that there is a god like no matter what situation you are in bad situation okay god is here you just have to pay attention and and um pray seek god you know, get into the Bible, okay? Get into the books, pray. So that's what I've been doing. And um, God has been taking really good care of me. And I've also been doing a lot of healing work, a lot of inner work inside, okay? Like, it was so hard to reprogram your mind from the matrix, Okay, you see, I used to live with this toxic parent for 22 years. That's a long, long time being programmed. Okay, and now since I've been left that situation where I was from like two years ago, okay, and but everywhere you go, it's like you always gonna like have your problems stick with you if you don't heal it. You feel me? If you don't heal your problems, everywhere you go, you're going to carry the problem with you. And that's what I've been doing. But you see, 
I am getting a lot better. Like I have did a lot of inner healing work in myself for months, okay? I have been praying a lot, asking God to just change me to become a better person, get these narcissistic traits out of me. Because where I come from, my toxic household was full of narcissism and trained, okay? Program. You feel me? And I was the one in the house was like a one that's like a dog, basically. You feel me? No nobody gave me no respect in our household. They they treated me like just like a dog. And plus I have a disability, so you know, they really treat people with disabilities really, really messed up. And that's what I really don't like. You know, just because I have a disability or anybody that has a disability, like, we are human, okay? And we deserve to be treated like humans and we deserve to be treated with respect, okay? Because that's all I do is give people respect, you feel me? I would love to have my respect backed. And not just be judged just because I have a disability, you know? That was always, like, a thing, like, with me, you know? People didn't respect me, you know? Family didn't respect me. There's a lot of narcissism parents that have kids and has a disability and treats them so messed up and train them to not love themselves, to not accept a disability so you know people that's like me that has disabilities what they do is that they will judge their own people that has disabilities okay and talk about them and 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 just hate each other i really don't like that like i've seen it too many times too many times i really want my people with disabilities to start accepting who they is and start loving they self. You feel me? Because we've been so trained all these years from our parents treating us like a dog and that's no respect. You feel me? Like we're not human. But you got to get out of that. You got to get out of that program. Okay, because I know back in the day, it used to be way, way worse before I was born. They treat people with disabilities like shit. I just don't like it, folks. So that was just my another realization. What I have to heal that people that's like me, that has a disability, will just treat other people that has disabilities messed up like crap. Because... They, and they do that because they so train from their household, from their parents or whoever that's been treating them like crap. No respect. So they will do the same thing to people that's just like them. It's so sad. It's so sad and it really hurts my heart so much because we just been programmed Okay, and and it's not good to be in the matrix. It's not good to just be programmed at all. Like it's so miserable being programmed and and just trained in this way how the matrix wants you. Also still got to heal from my parents. They bully me so much. I let other people treat me like shit. You feel me? Like when I go out or if it's on the internet, somebody hit me up, like, just bullying me, you know, taking a bullshit, basically. I'm just speaking a raw, like, I'm just taking a bull crap, like, I don't know when to tell that person to stop. Because I've been so trained letting people just talk over me like that. You feel me? Because that's what my parents used to do. So I thought that that's how life's supposed to be. I, I'm supposed to take people's bullcrap when they talk to me. I know. Yeah. Also got to heal that I used to be so trained, like, always got to just, you know, um, explain myself. Like, what do I have to explain myself for? You feel me? Like, 
I am a grown woman. And just to see myself like explaining to somebody that I don't have to, you know, it makes me get emotional. Like it really does. And I got that clarity last night from somebody who I was talking to. That person was going through it. And that person was going through it so much. It's like, I just had buttoned myself in and brought up my own problems and just explaining myself for like, what I have to do that for, you feel me? Like I'm an adult, I don't have to explain nobody nothing, you feel me? So that's just another thing that I have to heal too. Like I realized like I'm a grown woman, like I'm I'm not who I used to be no more trained as a dog. Like God is telling me like, you know, I am a grown woman now, okay? I am free. I don't have to be controlled. Nobody doesn't need to tell me what to do, okay? I am a free spirit that's with the Lord. And I am so glad, so glad that I woke up. My eyes is open. All the way open. I am not sleep no more. I could even just show y'all some pictures how I used to look. I would used to look so sleep and just so dead inside. And, and, and just so covered by a, a spell, a black spell that was just being controlled. And it wasn't good. It wasn't healthy. It was a lot of black magic work was done being with me. But you know what? I'm just looking at myself today that like I came a long way. I came a very long way and I am proud of myself. I have been growing. I, I have seen the change in me so much. It's like my family that's following me on social media, they barely even like a post, but they always watching my stories. You feel me? They always watching my YouTube. They're watching me till this day. And it just shows how much growth I done become in myself. Like I am growing like a beautiful butterfly. The glow on me is too powerful. They can't stand my glow. They can't stand nobody that's glowing. Because my glow irritates the demons that what they're battling, what's inside of them. But that's their problem. That's their inner world. What they need to go do some work with. But I know me, I've been doing a lot of work. And I still got work to do. Still got more healing to do. I have been healing a lot, but it's still more healing work that I need to do. And that's okay. You know, this is how it is living in this life. You always going to need to heal something. That's why it's called golden hour. I'm still in golden hour. If you don't know what golden hour is, golden hour is, is when you need to like, work on your healing you feel me work on what do you need to heal inside what's triggering you is a person triggering you you can see yourself in another person too that's another thing if you see a person a stranger you don't know and it's just like it's something that that they just like you the same thing the same life the same struggle whatever it is but it's triggering the heck out of you from that person that's a sign that you need to do some work in yourself it's not that person's fault you can't be mad at that person you got to look what's inside yourself why are you so bothered by that person basically it's because it's something that you need to work on you are who you attract and that is so real like you get somebody that you hanging out with or you in a relationship with you feel me? And they, they got the, they match the same energy just like you. Like if you are an evil witch, then you're going to match that same energy from somebody that's an evil witch just like you. Okay? Just how it is. We are all mirrors in this world. Just know that you never stop healing. There's always going to be something you need to heal, you need to work on. Okay? And that's called life lessons. <sighs> so 
this was today's message, folks. I know this video is pretty long. If you watched this video all the way to the end, you are amazing. And thank you for just even listening. Thank you for just hearing me. Okay, because I be on this YouTube channel to speak the raw, the real, what I am working on. Okay, I'm out here doing like real life work out here and it's really hard. It's so painful when you're doing that shadow work. Okay, I know no, a lot of people don't like to heal. They don't like to look at that. A lot of people run from that. But why you keep running for if you keep running from what you need to heal, then you're just going to be an unhealed person and just have a nasty energy, okay? Like, it's so important for you to do that inner healing work, whatever has happened. See, I pray for myself and I also pray for my family too because my family needs a lot of inner healing work in themselves, okay? I know a lot of black families go through it. It's a lot of dark stuff that's been going on in black families, like molestation, um, being poor, um, what else? All of that, just negativity, a lot of narcissism, devil energy, okay? I know it all, yes. And that's why God had to push me away from family because I no longer belong in their energy no more okay so that's why I'm out here you guys see me struggling but hey God still got me God is still providing and I'm so grateful and thankful for that I'm so grateful for the little things I am so so thankful and you guys should be thankful too okay so this was today's message, folks. I hope this message, if this message resonates with you, then go ahead and just write a comment, you know, write a positive comment. You know, I love reading you guys' comments. Thank you for just being my just support. Thank you so much. Like, I love every single one of you guys. I read you guys' emails when you guys hit me up on the email. That means a lot. If God is leading you to someone to me, Go ahead. My cash app is on the screen. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you for sewing. I love you.